Feeling good, rookie? Think you know how to blog? Well, first you need a theme, and then you need a header. Hi, I'm Aaron Trammell, and I'm a PhD candidate and assistant instructor at Rutgers University. This is part of a video tutorial series on how to use WordPress. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to choose a theme and how to choose a header. Themes and headers are important parts to every blog because they're the first thing that people see when they come to it. A theme is like your layout. It's how your blog is designed. It invites people in or can repel them. It can tell people this is a blog that's hip and cool or this is a blog that's very traditional. A header is an image. It's a way to personalize your blog. It's a way to let people know as they come into your blog, hey, this is what the theme is. This is what this blog is going to be about in a visual way that strikes out and jumps out at them. Let's look closer at these things. Um, so in order to see the theme that you have on your blog, uh, you can preview your blog by going over to this part right here, this little uh, drop down menu, and right clicking on it, and open link in new tab. Um, I always like to have a tab open where I see what's going on in my blog, see this is the generic theme that uh, WordPress gives you, puts all these sort of uh, their, their widgets basically in automatically recent posts, archive categories, and meta. And this is a, a default post it has, and it has some pages, home, and about. And this is what they call the header, this big picture right here. So this is basically how uh, the theme is laid out. But let's say you don't like this theme and you want to choose something else. To do that, you come here and you go to this Appearance tab, and the very first thing under the Appearance tab is this little thing that says Themes. Click on that. And once you jump into the Themes thing, it's going to give you an option of every single theme that WordPress has. Uh, right now, I think we're using the 2010 theme, but you can choose any of these. So let's say I decide to go with something that allows for header, maybe the sound check. Oh, no, that's for purchase. I'm not going to take that. <laughs> Um, let's see, Triton Light is a little lame, iTheme 2, that's kind of cool, looks like there's a slider on top, that's neat, let's go with something a little simpler for now, uh, Chateau, so once you're ready for it, you can see the details by clicking on details, Chateau is a clean and minimalistic theme with your choice of a light or dark brown color scheme. It features a custom header, custom background, and custom accent color. It also has up to six widget areas, one for a sidebar, and five in the footer. Elegant. So anyways, once you're ready and you're, you've decided on the theme you want, you just basically hit Activate. Activate Chateau. And it's going to do all these calculations, and the new theme has been activated. And you can either click on this link to visit the site, or you could go to this extra tab that we opened up and just refresh the page. You'll see automatically the theme has been changed to this very elegant chateau theme. Um, and you see the widgets that come with it are on this side instead of that side. Here's an example of the page, some space for comments, etc. After you've decided on a theme, it's time to decide on a header. Let's first see what header chateau has as a default and then go into Google and see if we can find one on our own to give this blog some unique personality. And to find a header, you're going to want to do a Google search for large images that are not uh, licensed under Creative Commons. So open up a new tab and go to Google, www.google.com. And once you're in Google, you can go to an advanced search. So let's just say awesome or under images. Uh, awesome blog header. We'll find the very best here. Click that to search for it. And all these blog headers come up, but we want big ones and we want ones that uh, do not um, have licensing restrictions. So there should be an advanced option somewhere around here. Here it is. This little thing. Search settings, advanced search, that's what we want. And here you can tell it to filter free to use or share, that's what we want, even commercially. 
and then image size uh, let's go with things that are very big larger than 1025 by 768 those are going to be pretty big pictures and then we'll just do the advanced search from there and there are not many things that come up some newspapers in this image let's just use this one for now because uh, it's here so I'll take this click on it go to full sized image and then save image as this comes up and I'll just drop it on my desktop and name it something I'll recognize awesome blog header save and now it's saved to my desktop I think you can see it if we scroll over there maybe not anyways um, so back to the blog going back to the back the dashboard now if I want to edit the header I go to header click on that and then browse choose an image from my computer awesome blog headers right here on my desktop where I left it hit open and upload that picture and that's legal because I, I filtered the search alright and now I just choose the part of the picture I want for a header and because the picture was so big I could probably shrink it without really losing resolution quality to it so we could go with the Timberland logo the summit discovery thing or just this necklace and shirt let's go with that cool crop and publish All right, and now the header's been updated and I can visit my site. If I go here and refresh the page, there's an awesome blog header now. And that's themes and headers. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and found it useful. Please join me for the next video tutorial where I'll talk about pages and widgets. Until then, I'm Aaron Trammell.